Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is a bit of an interesting intro because I'm introducing a new fun series that I want to bring to this channel that's combining my love of books and my love of the kitchen. This series is going to be called Book Eats. I'm going to be taking some yummy treats that I read about in certain books and recreating them in my kitchen. And for the first episode, we are doing none other than the Inheritance Games. I loved the first book. Heck, the whole series was five out of five for me. And my favorite character was Xander. And he loved his baked goods. So today we are going to be making some blueberry scones. So I know the intro of this is a little weird. You're probably like, why aren't you in your kitchen? I have to go pick up a few more things that I need for those scones. And then we'll be in the kitchen. So if you love the inheritance games, if you love Xander, stick around. Let's bake some scones. All right, we are back in the kitchen. It's been a couple days, but I have everything and I'm ready to make some blueberry scones. So all the ingredients will be listed below. We're gonna start with the dry ingredients in this bowl. I have flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt. And I'm gonna mix that together. When Xander was introduced in the Inheritance Games, his love for baked goods was very apparent and blueberry scones popped up quite a few times at the beginning of the book. He ate quite a bit. He made me want to eat them, so that's why we're here. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to set that aside, and I'm going to grab some butter that's frozen, and then I have a box grater. We're going to grate this frozen butter because it's going to be easier to, like, do what we need to do with the dry. So I think I'm just going to use the biggest part. It's a little hard. Okay, this is good. So you want to work quick. You don't want the butter to really melt in your hands. What's funny is I used to make scones quite a bit when I was younger, and I always made blueberry scones. So I feel like when I read about it in the book, it kind of just brought like a nostalgia back to me. Grating this though is pretty important. It's gonna make it a lot easier for the next step. Oh my God, and this is the part where I'm like, am I going to cut my fingers? <laughs> am I going to regret this? Oh my God, we're getting so close to the wire. Okay, I think that little piece, I'll just, I'll figure it out. Okay, so oh, look at all that butter. Okay, now I'm going to take this butter and I'm going to put it into the bowl. And you really got to work quick. You want the butter to be as cold as possible. This is going to help add the flaky layers to the scone. So it's kind of like a croissant, but not really, <laughs> in the aspect of needing to make sure that the butter is cold. Okay, so I have a pastry cutter. So we're going to get in there and mash it up. If you don't have a pastry cutter, you can use two forks or your hands or even the bottom of your whisk. You can just get in there and like mash it down. What you want is for it to become like pea size. You could go back and forth or you can like hammer it down. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. That's kind of how we want it. So this is the consistency you want once you mix in the butter. And to make sure the butter doesn't start to get to room temperature, I'm going to throw this in the freezer while we get our wet ingredients together. Okay, so for the wet ingredients, I have just a medium sized bowl here. We're gonna add half a cup of heavy cream, a large egg, and vanilla. And we're gonna whisk this up just till it's fully incorporated. All right, I'm gonna set that aside really quickly because we're gonna start to get our add-ins ready. So I'm making blueberry scones. Usually I would use fresh blueberries, but Sometimes it adds a little more liquid than I would like. So I'm gonna try something different. We'll see how it turns out. I have some freeze-dried blueberries. And I got these just at Trader Joe's. I also feel like the flavor consistency will be a little bit better with these. Let me give them a try just to make sure. Okay, they're different. So I think to get the most flavor out of these guys, I'm gonna crush them up just ever so slightly. 
I'm just gonna use the whole bag. Why not? All right, I'm just gonna grab the rolling pin and just lightly roll it. I'm okay if I leave some of them whole. Who knows, maybe this will like be a better way to get the blueberry flavor in there. I'm also thinking for like shelf stability. If you have like fresh fruit, like blueberries, you'll have to eat them pretty quickly. I'm thinking maybe the blueberries will last longer. These are my thoughts. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna take my rings off for this next part. Oh, I also have some lemon that I'm gonna zest in there as well because that'll just bring a nice acidic bite to the to the scones okay so i've taken the flour and butter mixture out of the freezer i'm going to add the heavy cream mixture we got going and then this is where we'll add the blueberries as well and then i've washed this i'm going to zest some of the lemon in there i feel like you always gotta add lemon with blueberry Okay, I think that's good. That's about one whole lemon zested. And you're just gonna get in there with your hands and mix it all together. Try to be as quick as possible in this part, just because of that butter. You don't want it to overly melt or get soft. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna form this into a round disc. The dough came together really nicely. You do see that beautiful blueberry color, which I like a lot. I'm really happy I chose to do the, fr um, the freeze-dried blueberries over fresh blueberries because you would not get this beautiful color. And then you also see some of the butter, which is good. We want that. I'm going to compact it so that it holds its shape. And then we're going to move that out of the way. And then I'm going to roll it out. Maybe actually... I'm gonna add a little flour to the bottom of this board just to be on the safe side. All right, now I'm gonna roll it out. And this is the point where you can decide how big you want your scones. Sometimes I make them overly big and other times I want smaller ones. Oh my gosh, this dough is beautiful. The color is so pretty. Okay, so I think that's pretty good and thick. I'm going to very gently wrap this up with some saran wrap. I'm going to place some on this side and then carefully flip it so I can place some on the other side. Hopefully. Okay. Woo. All right, perfect. I'm going to put this in the fridge just so that butter stays cold because my oven needs to preheat, which I'm gonna be setting at 400. Okay, the oven just sounded off, it's ready to go. I have a baking sheet lined with a baking mat. You can use parchment paper if you don't have one of these. And we have the chilled dough. Beautiful. Okay, you'll grab your bench scraper or a knife and then just Cut it like you're cutting a pizza. And then realize that you just did not make them even. <laughs> I always suck at this part. I don't, I don't understand why I don't see the middle correctly. But that's okay. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> All right, we are gonna place them on our baking sheet. I might need two baking sheets. We'll see. I don't know. They're gonna fit. All right, they fit perfectly. And before I put them in the oven, I just have some heavy cream here that I'm gonna brush on top of each one. Cause you know, we need a little more fat on these, I guess. And then to make sure that these are like true bakery style scones, I have some turbinado sugar here, the sugar in the raw. And we're gonna sprinkle some on top. Cause you know, you have to. All right, and then into the oven they are gonna go. The oven's at 400. I'm gonna start with about 18 minutes, see how they look, and then reassess if they need a little more. Every oven is gonna be different. If you have convection bake, I am jealous because they'll probably be done in half the time. 
All right, these gorgeous scones are out of the oven and they look bakery quality, if I do say so myself. And now I want to try one. I've let them cool a little bit. It's time to try one. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, perfectly cooked. So for mine, they took 18 minutes. That was perfect. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think Xander just made me fall in love with scones again. I love them. They're so good. I'm glad I used those freeze-dried blueberries. The flavor's really nice. I got a little bit of lemon. Perfectly sweet. These are great. These are so freaking good. I highly, highly recommend this recipe. Again, I'll leave where I got the base for this recipe in the description box below. I hope you guys liked this first episode of this series. My passion for cooking is number one. Reading is a strong number two. And I like the idea of combining it together because a lot of books highlight some beautiful things food related. So this is just the first of many to come. And if you've read something recently that highlights a food item, let me know in the comments below. Maybe you'll see it on this series. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until the next one. Bye. Mm.